It's going to be another day before we can harvest. Whoa, who is that? That's one of our kids. Okay, one of our kids just fell from the air. Hello and welcome back. My name is Rebelica and this is the 100 Baby Challenge. Um, now I am actually pretty sick today. I've got a really bad cold, so uh, my voice is a little bit off. <laughs> so anyways, uh, let's get back in here. So we've got uh, Quinn right now is working on her aspiration for becoming a master maker. We have to make 20 candles and we're at 16. Um, and we have to complete five gig gigs at the freelance as a freelance crafter. So right now we're working on um, selling candles. Um, so we have um, Pierogi here. She's adult or young adult, um, but she's stuck around to help out a little bit. And then, um, and then we have Keizo and Ratatouille. And we've got sushi and tonkatsu. And Quinn is currently pregnant uh, with her last pregnancy. So when she um, when she gives birth, then we're going to age her up. Uh, because when we had the update for Crystal Creations, uh, Quinn got bugged and I had to delete her and put a copy into the household, which was still pregnant, but her age had changed. So... It had, she had a glowing bar for becoming an elder, so she's just going to become an elder. So, oh, power conservation day is in effect. That doesn't really affect us. And we've got sheep in the house. I keep forgetting to lock the doors for sheep, so they keep coming into the house. So, um, Pierogi here, she is uh, a slob sim, so she doesn't mind being in the dumpster, so I'm going to have her uh, dive for deals. She doesn't get that mood lit about uh, being uncomfortable from being dirty or anything like that, so we'll just get her cleaned up here. So we have some, um, a lot of stuff in our inventories because some things are just not working properly, including the sales table. We can't put that into our inventory we can't, uh, like, we can't add anything to the inventory on it. And anything we take off, we can't interact with either. So I think everything that we, even though we save all, all of our inventory from the lot, a lot of it is bugged. So um, I'm just trying to figure out how to fix this. And I think what I'm just going to do is... Um, just get a new table and see if that works then. So you should be able to put the new table into the inventory. The only problem I'm having is every time I pick up, try to pick something up off the table, I actually grab the table instead and then the whole table moves. So it's really hard to pick up the little teeny tiny bonsai buds. And it looks like some of them have actually been sized down somehow. I'm not sure why, but there's just the one left there. That's everything. So let's delete that. So move the sales table over. And then all these other vegetables that are on the ground, we should be able to put those on the table. Okay. Can we put this, can we clear the table now? We still can't put it in our inventory, but I think we can actually clear it. No, it did not clear. Well, that's annoying. It's still not working the way it's supposed to. And it's only giving us the option to plant these things. See, some of these bonsai buds are teeny, teeny, tiny. And then the last one that I clicked on was pretty big. So I feel like they've been sized up or down for some reason. So I'm going to try planting well, one of the bonsai plants. I kind of got bored after trying one. <laughs> I'm just going to delete all of these ones. It's just too much of a pain. We get tons of vegetables. And, um, and then I'm actually going to just grab a whole new uh, sales table. Uh, just copying it didn't seem to work so we'll just get one of the new ones from crystal creations um and i'm just gonna oh i found another bonsai one okay so i put the other bonsai bud back in there sold one of our bikes because we had a lot of bikes and um since i'm going with the crystal creations we have we do have a lot of crystals uh with the volcanic eruptions lot trait that we have or lot challenge they 
we get a lot of those, so why not do something with them other than just try to sell them on the table? So I'm going to try making some jewelry or, or faceted jewels with them, like, um, and then, uh, yeah, so we can either sell them on the table or we can charge them up and uh, use the benefits of them. Why not? And I'm also going to replant my sugarcane and wheat um, custom content plants um, and also add in the mill so that our sims can be self-sufficient. Uh, that is the one thing that annoys me about cottage living is that you couldn't make your own flour and sugar. And also I'm adding in some more prairie grass here, um, partly for the sheep to eat and partly because when you harvest prairie grass you can find some fun stuff. So here we go put the mill in here and it should work there. I think there's enough space to get in that corner. All right, so we're back here. Let's try, we can put the table in our inventory now, so that's good. Already it looks like that's working properly. And uh, let's view the inventory. There's nothing in it right now, but can we put some stuff in? We've got a lot of sim simmies, so we'll put those all in. Uh, not the crystals, we'll leave the crystals where they are. And we've got the uh, geode stuff from Solani, um, a voodoo doll, dance floor. We're just going to sell that. Um, fruity heart. So we also already have some um, CC stuff that we've gotten out of the, um, the dumpster, it looks like got some woodworking things, uh, fossil, let's extract the fossil on that. We've got 16 llama toys, those actually go for quite a lot. So yeah, we have a lot of toys. <laughs> Every time one of our, our child sims ages up, a bunch of their older siblings send them toys and we end up with just a ridiculous amount of, of toys. So the, and a lot of them are worth about a hundred simoleons. So they're pretty good money. We can sell them all on the sales table. Um, let's see, what else do we have here? Broken fossil, might as well sell those. People will buy them for some reason. And bonsai buds, let's, we'll plant those. And let's see, is there anything else? Oh, we've got some frogs, but I don't think I'm gonna sell those. Oh, we do have some dye, okay. Oh, we got a phone call coming in. Um, okay. I barely look at those now. I just just pick whatever one I, I think would be good. So we want to try to send this candle to a client for approval. But that means that we finish another candle. We only have 17 left to finish, so that's good. And we've reached at level three entrepreneur. Okay. I wept as I watched the magnificent flame of your candle. Okay, approved. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, so it only shows us as having made 16 candles. Okay, I wonder, wonder why that hasn't gone up. But let's check for gigs. We, oh, first I thought we had a fire, but no, it's just broken. So maybe we should actually fix the stove too. So let's prepare that. I'm not sure if I actually have a fire or a smoke detector. Because it's outdoors, it's kind of weird. I don't have a wall I could put it on. So I feel like we have more space now than we did around the house. Love is in the air. 400. Isn't there one that's like a thousand? Further down, uh, we've got hip to be re rectangular or waxing poetic. And those both will give us a thousand um, for the gig. Yeah, let's take the hip to be rectangular. All right. Now we need some wax. <laughs> um, it's going to be another day before we can harvest. Whoa, who is that? That's one of our kids. Okay, one of our kids just fell from the air. I think he's a spellcaster. 
All right, Pierogi fixed the stove and got handiness level two, or is fixing the stove. So Quinn's going to look after the baby here, although she is getting really hungry. Let's see. Can we do some tummy time? Learn how to crawl. Actually, learn how to roll over so you can do it yourself. Okay, come on, sheep, go outside. Lift my head milestone. All right. And then let's do the super efficient care. Pierogi's almost done fixing the stove. And let's invite in... Oh, friendly introduction. We don't even know Nasser. Oh, okay. Nasser and Olivia, who is one of the ghosts that you saw floating around earlier, I think. Um, so Olivia uh, lived with us until she died of old age. But I hadn't turned on um, aging for everyone outside of the family I had aging off for non the non-active household so um <laughs> Nasser didn't age for a long time while Olivia actually was aging but that's changed and now everybody should be aging but our whole like alphabet for first time through the alphabet they're all the same age so they will all probably die around the same time. Feel kind of bad, but hopefully we'll be done the challenge by then. All right, so can we play with the toys? Uh, Quinn, can you feed? Uh, I'm not sure which is which. I think that is Tonkatsu. Give a bubble bath. So also Quinn needs to eat at some point. Okay, Quinn's just standing there. There we go. So, um, is that sushi or tonkatsu? Tonkatsu had a blowout, so they need to have a bath. So he's going to get his, hopefully he's going to get his bubble bath and bath milestones here. And I was just was wondering. I don't know if anyone's actually looking after the sheep. I don't know if I've hired a ranch hand yet or what. Okay. Let's get this guy all tidied up. And now uh, Sushi is crying too. Sushi, I think, may be trying to go to sleep though. Now I'm getting a sad face from the sheep. So. Mm. so I recorded this actually actually a couple weeks ago. Um before well before the um the new kits came, were announced even. So I think next time I play this I'm probably gonna add some stuff from the, the party kit <laughs> to the house. Um like maybe the backlit TV. I really like that. That's my favorite item in the kit. Um, maybe the invisible dance floor. Set that outside near the stereo so that people can have a spot to actually dance. So another thing I'm going to need to do is get some soybeans. I don't think I actually have any soybean plants planted. And that would be another good source for us to get wax for making candles. It wasn't an issue before because I just had so much beeswax already in my inventory. Keizo is done with school for the day, doing satisfactory work, but her teachers think she could improve with just a little bit of extra effort. Well, we never get the grade up on the first day for children. So grab something to eat. And then we can do our homework. Oh, I can see that that one, that barbecue is clipping through the pillar. Actually, so is the stove. May want to fix that. <laughs> um, but, but at least with the open fridge working right now, um, we can still get food out easily. I know we can get stuff out of the other fridge, but it's, it's annoying me that I can't put anything into it. That's going to be a problem if I want to collect eggs and I can't put eggs in the fridge.
There we go. Put the baby down. Maybe now he can play with the toys. Look at the toys and then go to sleep. There we go. Ah. Uh, decline job offer. Sorry, we can't work. <laughs> That's against the rules for this challenge. Grab milestone unlocked. Yay. Actually, playing this, this challenge, I've learned a lot about uh, raising infants and toddlers. When I'm playing not the 100 Baby Challenge, they seem so much easier. Maybe because I don't have, like, up to six infants and toddlers at the same time. Alright, so let's actually try and put some things on the table here. Like the rest of these bonsai buds. And I think we could be able to get those into our inventory then. There we go. And what else can we put in? Something that doesn't have a ton of things. Oh, plasma fruit. We could put those on maybe. Um, oh, the ice buckets. So the ice buckets will sit on the table, but they don't go into the inventory. So we can sell them. We just can't do it if there's anything else on the table. <laughs> Same with these TVs. Oh, let's try that again. Another TV. Uh, no, we can't get that. Okay. And these plates, too. So what have we got? We've got another toy. Um, is there anything else we can put in here? I'm not sure. Oh, we've got a, a fossil. Oh, there's no room. Okay. So let's let's go to live mode and let's try running a yard sale then. Or can we clear the table? I wonder if that would put the TV and the ice buckets back into our inventory though. No, it didn't clear it. Well, let's see if we can tend it then. All right, and Keizo is working on her homework. Um, so I'm going to have Quinn help with her homework. There we go. Oh, she didn't even finish eating all her food. Oh, well. We'll work on that. Um, now, I'm actually expecting Quinn to live for a long time as an elder because she did complete the bodybuilder um aspiration and that actually makes the the, the elder lifespan a lot longer <laughs> okay so we're still looking at the toys and then we should be going to sleep soon okay and let's see oh it's the football team sports day that notification startles me every time <laughs> um <laughs> Sometimes I've like literally jumped because of it. I almost feel like I should get a uh, get a goat because they'll eat the garbage. If like if there's diapers on the ground, they'll eat the diapers. It's kind of crazy. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can get Keizo when she's done there to to hug Bun Bun. I'm not sure if Bun Bun's actually going to work in the window like that, but I thought I would try. Oh, it sounds like I'm getting a milestone here. What was the milestone for? There it is. Laugh milestone unlocked. Okay. Okay, Perky, where are, are... Oh, you are there. <laughs> I just couldn't even see her. You kind of... She was there underneath the uh, shelter. All right. Is anyone buying things? Well, someone bought a bonsai bud, I think. Oh, we forgot to mark up the prices. So let's mark the prices up like we usually do to 300. That's how we make our money. Of course, I don't think Progi has very high charisma. I'm pretty sure that it has to do with charisma levels, how, how well you can sell things at the, the, the higher price. Okay, can we hug Bun Bun? No, we can't. Okay. 
So I'm going to have to put bun bun not in the window. All right, so let's move bun bun. Oh, I don't have move objects on right now. Um, we'll just set bun bun off to the side here for now. There we go. Now we can hug bun bun. Toy box is probably not usable either, but I usually don't even use the toy box. It's kind of more for decoration, so it doesn't really matter as much. Oh, and uh, looks like uh, Ratatouille is is uh, learning to use the potty. That's good. Um, usually, it just takes one one time learning the potty in the tiny house uh, to actually get to level two, and then they can use it on their own. Oh, we I think we might actually be able to use that still. We'll have to check here. Hey, honey, it's mom. When are you gonna come visit? I'll visit another time. <sighs> Okay, can we, okay, so she wants to ask advice, but uh, I think we have other this stuff we need to do, like look after our needs, go to sleep, we can't do extra credit homework yet, because we don't have a uh, B yet, so, okay, Ratatouille is very sad, oh, his needs are pretty bad too, he needs a bath, but he also needs to use the to he also needs to use the potty, so that should help. Uh, decline job offer, please. There we go. Um, not I can't remember why it is that I suddenly started getting all these calls about a job. I think it has to do with our reputation. I don't know. Oh yeah, so you see, see this the floating plant there? It's actually on the windowsill, so it's not actually floating. It just looks like it is from outside. And I'm actually going to end it here for today, so thanks for watching, and um, don't forget to click like, and if you're new here, you can click on subscribe and the little bell for notification of more videos, and I will see you next time. Okay, bye!